there, I'm Sophie. Thanks for joining me and welcome to the Cairngorms National Park. Now, like you, this is my first time in the Cairngorms, so I'm pretty excited to be exploring it together. Now, the Cairngorms lies in the north of Scotland in the Eastern Highlands, and as well as being the UK's largest national park, it is also thought of as a true wilderness area. So, the Cairngorms are pretty famous for its large areas of forests, and Loch Island is almost entirely surrounded by Caledonian forests. So, as the weather's looking pretty good, I think that we should head in and go have an explore. Oh, so, are you going to help me then, or what? So, most of the forests in the Cairngorms are made up of Scots pine, like the one behind you there and they make up perfect perches for fishing birds like osprey, as well as making for a pretty classic Scottish backdrop. So in a minute we're going to head out and find some of the wildlife that lives here, but I've heard of a pretty amazing spot that I think we should head out and explore first. So this is Far Lisa Crag. It's an amazing spot well away from the tourist trail. If you look in front of me here, you can see a continuous stretch of Caledonian forest. And now I only found this out the other day, but apparently Scotland was once all like this. But sadly, Caledonian forest has shrunk to just 1% of its former range. And the Cairngorms alone hold 60% of this 1%. So it's really important that we conserve and protect this forest, especially when you consider that some of the UK's best and most charismatic species live here. So why don't we go and find some of them? Oh, thanks for waiting for me. Now there's something about walking through a forest, isn't there, that's just so calming. But it wasn't that long ago that bears, lynx and packs of wolves ran through these very trees. But sadly, as the forest disappeared, so did they. 25% of our endangered species still live here. So animals like the capercaillie, the red squirrel and the Scottish wildcat. Now these species are quite elusive, but I've sorted a special experience just for you to watch one of my favourite animals up close. Follow me. So right now we're in a hide, and hides are one of the best places to see an animal up close in its natural environment. Today we are here to see one of Britain's most elusive predators. Now once heavily hunted, this animal is virtually extinct in England and Wales, but actually we're in one of the best places in the Cairngorms and in the UK to see it. Now the thing about nature is you can't quite guarantee that you're going to see the animal that you're after. So I guess all we have to do now is sit quietly, watch and wait. Oh, I think I've just spotted one coming into view. Why don't we take a look outside? Oh, yeah, look, that's one. He's coming down the branch right now. So in front of us, we have the secretive pine marten. Just look at him tucking into those nuts in front of you. Pine martens are omnivorous, and that basically means that they eat a whole host of food, from berries and nuts, to insects and even mammals as large as the grey squirrel. Sadly, they've undergone a big decline in the UK. That fine fur you see, well that's really their problem, as not long ago they were hunted heavily for their coat. But right now we're in the perfect place to see them. The Cairngorms and the rest of the highlands remain a real stronghold for the martin. But even so, we're really lucky to see him. Now, keep your eyes out for badgers too. They like to feed in this area just as much as our martin. They do tend to avoid each other, even though they're related. Oh, speak of the devil, there's one in the shadow just in front of me. And yet, as I thought, our martin's heading off into the darkness. Well, that's us done for the evening, and what a great day it has been. I really hope you enjoyed the pine martens as much as I did. Anyway, we're off up into the mountains tomorrow, so time to get to bed and get some rest. <laughs>